isn't it crazy how social distance for two weeks so that our hospitals aren't overwhelmed evolved into social distance until 2022 until a vaccine is developed? And don't try to tell me there's any science behind the draconian lockdown enforcement. The truth is these lockdowns are actually anti-science. Police kicked me and a friend out of the park this weekend. Now, before you say anything, we were properly social distanced, minding our own business. 50 yards, 50 yards from anybody else in a wide open space on a grassy hill, sitting in the sun. It was 85 degrees here in California this weekend, and some of us have no yard. We rely on public parks for outdoor exposure. And again, before you say anything, the park is open. You're allowed to do yoga, you're allowed to walk, you're allowed to run, you're allowed to work out on the grass, but you're not allowed to sit. This is tyranny. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not trying to blame the police here. I'm sure there are a few bad apples who are power hungry, but most police officers, I get it. They're enforcing the laws because that's their job. They don't make the laws. It's the politicians who are making these crazy laws. In fact, the police officer who kicked us out was perfectly professional, and I think he agreed with me. He said, I'm sorry you have to leave unless you're actively exercising. And I politely said to him, so that woman is allowed to exercise on her mat over there, but I'm not allowed to sit on my towel over here. And he says, yeah. And I said, that's dumb. And he said, yeah. It's politicians who are inflicting this authoritarian lockdown on us. They tell us they're violating our liberties for our own good because science. Please, please tell me what science this is based on. These lockdowns are not based on science. We were near nobody in the park. According to a Department of Homeland Security scientific study, sunlight and heat and humidity kill the COVID-19 virus. A German study found the risk of outdoor transmission via casual contact is low. According to German professor Hendrik Streeck, who studied the COVID-19 outbreak in Germany, and I quote, there is no significant risk of catching the disease when you go shopping. Severe outbreaks of the infection were always a result of people being closer together over a longer period of time, end quote. And we didn't even have casual contact with anyone except the police officer on his four-wheeler wearing his mask and his gloves. The Taiwan CDC also tracked 1,000 contacts of 32 infected people and found zero transmission of the virus outside people's homes and their family members. In addition, scientists from Hong Kong studied 318 COVID-19 infection clusters of three or more infections, this in China, but outside the Hubei province, and found not one cluster of coronavirus infections occurred outside. The researchers concluded, and I quote, all identified outbreaks of three or more cases occurred in an indoor environment, which confirms that sharing indoor space is a major COVID infection risk, end quote. 80% of these outbreaks were intrafamilial, transmitting the virus to one's own family members. Only 8% of the outbreaks involved strangers. Nearly all the infection clusters occurred in the home or on public transportation, according to that study. So sitting in the park, 50 yards away from anybody else in the sunlight, in the 85 degree heat, what do our politicians think the virus, which we don't have, is going to fly 150 feet and magically infect people facing away from us? That is absurd and anti-science.